Hey guys, Travis with Parker Mountain Machine. Today we're gonna to go over the differences between a dual port compensator and a single port and why you would want one or the other. When it comes to looking at the differences between these two comps on paper, the dual port is usually gonna seem like the better answer. You're getting a 50 to 55% reduction in muzzle rise, whereas the single port is only gonna give you about 30 to 35. But there's other factors that go into the equation and uh, we're gonna talk about those today and hopefully help you with your decision. So the main factors going into wanting a dual port is you want the most performance you can get out of your pistol. You're looking for every added advantage you can get when it comes to redirecting your muzzle gases and that's what that's gonna do. It's got a larger port towards the rear and a smaller port towards the front to maximize efficiency when redirecting those gases and it's going to give you the flattest shooting pistol that you can get from one of these comps. Uh, that being said though, there is some drawbacks. There's an ebb and flow to all of this. So the more gas that you're trapping, the slower your slide speed, the more picky the gun's going to be when it comes to ammos. The single port comp is still giving you a high degree of performance, but it's also keeping you closer to those factory slide speeds, you're gonna run more reliable across all different kinds of ammos. Uh, if your grip's a little bit uh, you know, less than sufficient, if you're shooting you know, under barriers, under cars, stuff like that, one-handed, it's gonna give you a little bit more leeway with your reliability. So at the end of the day, it's really gonna come down to you and what you're gonna use this weapon for. If it's gonna be a self-defense or a duty role, we really recommend the single port variant. If you're looking for a gamer gun or something that you just, again, want the most performance you can get out of something and you're willing to up the quality of ammo, the dual port is a great option. But at the end of the day, just be honest with yourself and the use of the pistol uh, and understand that neither of them are gonna solve any sort of deficiencies and nothing is a fast track to becoming a better shooter.